everyone i'm done welcome to my vlog thank you for visiting with me today so i was going to do a journal page and i think i'm gonna do a under the sea kind of thing with these new thing new papers i got i got these two and i got some shell things and I got some of these uh, gems and some washi tape in matching colors so let's see what we come up with okay so I think what I'm gonna do first I think we're gonna have this be cover the page I gotta find my glue I'm running I gotta find my other glue sticks. I had a little supply of them. But I got enough right here for now. And uh, by the way, if y'all are interested in junk journaling or scrapbooking or anything like that, I'm gonna link some associate links below for Amazon for some things that I've purchased in the past or things I like to use. If you're interested, just so you know, if you purchase um, using that link, I'll get a little bit of cheddar cheese. Not much, but, <laughs> you know, a little bit. So I have to disclose that. Um, but, you know, of course you don't have to. I don't expect you to. Um, but just need to let you know that I'm going to provide those links and that it is a associate Link. All right. Now I got that glued down. I'm take my scissors and just trim away. Okay. I trimmed a little bit of the paper off. That's okay. I don't have the fancy scissors. I wish I did. Like with the thing cut out little scallops and stuff. So we'll just Okay. So it's not beautiful. <laughs> and I have a whole spot in here I need to fill in. Maybe I'll find something to stick in there. I don't have a lot of ocean-y things yet, so I'll have to look around for something to put there in the middle. So I found some of my mom's jewelry, and this is very old jewelry. Like, I found her engagement ring right here. Right here, it gets real blue if I try to put it close. So it's tiny, 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 tiny. It won't even fit on my finger. And um, I know that if I get that shaped right, because it's been all crushed and stuff, that it would fit my finger. But this was her engagement ring. And she didn't wear her engagement ring with her wedding band. Once they got married, she took the engagement ring off. And this was her wedding band. So these are both 70 plus years old. I don't know how long she was engaged for. Probably not too long, though. And then there's a little pendant of hers. And these earrings right here, which are gorgeous. And they're like the little screw-ons. Because she wouldn't get her ears pierced. She got her ears pierced finally when I was a teenager. But she had these, and you would screw them onto the earlobe to get them to hold in place. But these are gorgeous. Where's the other one? Right here. They are gorgeous. But those are just as old, if not older. And then these right here. And here. This one right here is broken. It doesn't have the little gem at the end there. It broke off. But these were my mom's wedding day earrings they can use a cleaning but those are my mom's wedding day earrings 
And then this was a necklace of my mother's that went with these earrings. But yeah, this stuff is all 70 plus years old. And then I have one of these earrings left. I don't know where the other one is, but there should be another one somewhere. But I have one of them. And then this, I don't know that this is as old, but I found this in my mom's stuff. And I thought, well, that's interesting. But my mom didn't really wear gold-toned things, so I don't know if this is hers or not, but it's with our stuff, so. Anyway, I thought that would be interesting to show you guys. My mom was so tiny that this chain is really short, like extremely short. I don't even think that's a 16-inch chain. Um, yeah, I don't think, I think this would be like a choker on me, but... I'll try to put it on. I can always get an extender for it. But, yeah. And the same with this chain. It's longer than that one, but it's still on the shorter side. I want to share with you a uh, funny horror-related story um, that doesn't warrant a story time video because it's not going to be that long of a story. But, and I may have shared this story before, I don't know, but I have new new subscribers, so we'll, we'll, we'll share it again, even if I'd shared it before. So, when I was younger, you know, when I was a kid, we loved horror. We were raised to love horror, because we were raised right. And every Friday, my mom would get a treat at the grocery store, like a pie or a cake or cookies or ice cream or something. So she bought, and I remember specifically it was lemon meringue pie so my mom bought a uh, lemon meringue pie and we each got our pie and we're, me and my one of my brothers and my mom were sitting in the living room watching friday the 13th part two and the girl that plays jenny amy Steele, in friday the 13th part two is going to be at spooky empire so i want to tell her this story and i may have told this story in my spooky empire video but anyway um my mom <laughs> Uh, and I and, and my brother are all sitting there watching Friday the 13th part two and something scary happens that this is before the real jump scare before we knew to be prepared for a jump scare you know what I mean so uh we're just eating our pie <laughs> and we all jump there you know a little jump scare happens and we all kind of jump but my mom is like has her pie in her hand she's like oh and the <laughs> The pie goes off the plate and hits the ceiling. <laughs> the pie hits the ceiling and then the pie, then it falls down and lands back on her plate. But the meringue is still on the ceiling. So we had to clean the meringue off the ceiling. But anyway, see, not that long of a story, but it was funny. So anyway, there's one for you. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> So I just dropped Marshall off and now I've got to go do a couple of things. I have to get something to make me and Eric for dinner because I had taken chicken out of the freezer. I was going to make like chicken dumplings or chicken pot pie or something. Probably chicken and dumplings. But the chicken's not defrosted yet so I'll have to make that tomorrow. Um, it's a lot of chicken so I'll probably be able to use part of the chicken, chicken and dumplings and the rest for something else. Um, and uh, I love chicken and dumplings. But tonight I think we'll get, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure something out. <sighs> I'll stop at Trader Joe's for that. I'm having an allergic reaction to something. I'm getting hivy and like, and it's between my fingers and like my eyeball and around my face and stuff. <laughs> I made a Mercari sale, woohoo! Um, so I gotta make me some instant mashed potatoes because I want mashed potatoes, but I just got a little packet of them because Eric doesn't like them. 
and Marshall's not home for dinner. Here are my friends, Delilah and Doyle. They haven't been to see me in a while. Yeah. Hi, babies. Did you come to see me? I missed you so much you don't come to see me anymore. Doyle, you never come to see me. Usually it's crackers. But that's Miss Delilah. Hi, babies. Oh, hello. Hi. You coming closer? I don't really have any food for you. You want me to go see if I can find some food for you? Huh? Lady? Sweet girl? Look at those dumb dogs. Those dumb dogs barking at you. They're jealous. They're jealous because I'm talking to you, Delilah. Let me go see if I can find something to feed you. Look at how close you are. Hi, baby. Look at these two jealous ones right here. Now Brian's trying to be pitiful. Oh, there's Tina. Just hanging out with the ducks. They don't like it. Well, because they chase the ducks and they're mean to them. You know, when we have our house and we get our chickens, you can't be mean to them. <laughs> 